interesting. Did you find yourself after the trial, like in the studio, trying to get some stuff done? Or? You know what? My people from Death Row, they took me out, out of town, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to release my mind. That's something I really needed. You know what I'm saying? I had you did release water. your mind. I went to the water. I was in the sky. Me and Tupac was like 30 feet in the, in the air. <laughs> <laughs> One of hip-hop's favorite bromances is Pac and Snoop's friendship. But according to Suge Knight, Snoop might have played a part in the killing of Tupac. You know, I really, really, really got to have a real conversation with Snoop. Now, if all these people knew what was going on in the situation, nobody never commented to kill anybody like that. So you're part of it. You're part of that snake. You know what happened to the snake, 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 snake. Suge Knight made these allegations while talking to Dave Mays on the Collect Call podcast. And according to Suge, Snoop has some explaining to do. Apart from implying that Snoop Dogg is a snake, Suge also stated that Snoop isn't loyal to Pac. If that's loyal to Pac, shit, I'm gonna have to go back now, you might be wondering where all of this is coming from, but before Tupac was murdered, he and Snoop were no longer friends. In fact, even Snoop confirmed this himself. Snoop Dogg stated in an interview with Angie Martinez that he and Pac's friendship had gotten so bad that he was willing to stab both Suge, Pac, and other death row homies on a private flight they all took together. I'm like, what's up, Pac? And they do me like this. So I walked to the back of the plane, Give me a blanket, grab me a knife and a fork, put the blanket over my, over my nose right here, my, uh, my little black glasses on, and ride like this the whole flight, hoping one of them come with me so I could stab out everybody on this mother. Snoop and Pac's issues began at the same time when the East Coast-West Coast rivalry began. Pac had been shot and robbed at Quad Studios, and he believed that Biggie and Diddy were involved in the robbery. However, when Snoop was doing an interview on BET, he stated that Biggie's his homeboy and that he had no beef with him. Uh, Biggie Smalls, he's an artist that I, you know what I'm saying, I listen to his music, I love his work. There's no beef, it's nothing personal. I don't hate him and I don't disrespect him and I love what he do, you know what I'm saying? And it's just me, I'm just a smooth, peaceful individual. I don't have beef with nobody right now, baby. This didn't sit well with Pac because having a label mate say he is cool with the people he considered his enemies must have felt like a betrayal. Some people also believe that Pac and Snoop stopped being friends because Snoop Dogg was jealous of Pac. According to Napoleon, who was a member of Tupac's group Outlaws, Snoop was jealous of Pac because he took his shine. Imagine if you, the biggest star on death row and Pac come and take all your shine. You understand? And 25 years later, Pac died and every time you do an interview, that name is brought up. So maybe he's just trying to take that shine from Pac, you know what I mean? And Pac is not here, Pac has passed away. Like, even if that's the case, speak about your friend in a positive light. Before Pac joined Death Row, Snoop Dogg was the label's leading artist. He was featured heavily on Dr. Dre's Chronic, which also made him a star even before he released his debut album. And when Snoop eventually released Doggy Style, he became the face of West Coast hip hop. Doggy Style sold over 800,000 copies in its first week, and it became the fastest selling hip hop album. During this period, Snoop Dogg was regarded as the king of West Coast, and Death Row was the house that Snoop built. And Snoop was even Suge's right hand man. However, all of these things changed when Pac joined Death Row in late 1995. Suge Knight posted Tupac's $1.4 million bond, and just months after Pac joined Death Row, he released All Eyes On Me. Tupac blew up faster than anyone could have imagined. He quickly became the face of Death Row, and Pac undoubtedly took the label to another level. By now, the hierarchy had changed, and Snoop was quickly relegated to the background. Everyone wanted a piece of Pac. Thug life, y'all don't That's forget right. that shit. What type nigga is the thug life, nigga? Thug life, nigga, be the craziest! All right, it's Tupac. Just finished throwing up. We're back. That was the Notorious B.I.G. with Big Papa. You know, just kidding. Everything's all good. What are you doing? Back, 
Beyonce. She ain't got no hair like that. Dreads ain't working, baby. That's out of style, the baby. Dreads ain't working, baby. Man, you man, wanna do something like this, baby. So, <laughs> <laughs> look at that. That got. We gotta start saying fuck these bitches, man. Bitches ain't shit. We don't love them hoes, and it's like that. Many believe this is why Snoop might have been jealous of Tupac, and because they were no longer as cool as they were before, this is perhaps why Snoop didn't follow Tupac to Vegas and why he wasn't in the car when Suge and Tupac were shot. Snoop Dogg stated that he didn't go to Vegas because they were no longer cool at the time. Snoop explained that he asked Pac if he was going to Vegas, but Tupac didn't want him to come along. It's a five and a half hour flight. Don't nobody say one word to me. Not one word. It's having conversations and doing all kinds of things, saying nothing to me. Now we land. My Rolls Royce, Tupac Rolls Royce, Suge Rolls Royce. We step off the plane. I'm like, Pac, you going to Vegas to the fight? I said, Psh. That's the last time I seen my live. However, according to Suge Knight, this wasn't exactly what happened. Suge explained that they always attended every event together, so Snoop asking them about going to the fight rather than just going with them is suspicious. Two, we always go to the fight together, we always go to the club together. You gonna need that half as watered down movie on pot, and he said, you gonna be at the fight and all that type of shit. Suge stated that he believed the only reason Snoop didn't follow them to Vegas is perhaps because he already had information that someone was going to attack them after the fight. And I knew that Pac did everything right about him by putting on all eyes on me, speaking about him and being real with him. And if it's true what they say... This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Uh -huh. Face to face is gonna be a lot of explaining to do. Shook then stated that Snoop's close friend Warren G explained that Snoop had a radio with him on the night Pop was killed. I heard a horn, bing, 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 honking in front of my house. So I looked out, out the house, excuse me, y'all. Mm -hmm. I looked out the house and Snoop was outside in a uh, a white motherfucking Rolls Royce. Then he had this the the, the next tail back then. Remember the motherfucker? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, they, I don't I don't know what what kind of next tail he had, but he had the motherfucker could go that whatever it was, it was hitting him all the way from what was going on from Vegas. Uh, so he was they was like you, we could hear the shit, and then he started getting calls and shit, and they was telling him that Tupac got shot and da 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 da. This, that, and this. So Snoop. Suge Knight stated that they only used the radio when they were at an event so as to communicate with security. However, Snoop was at a friend's house and didn't have security detail. Suge stated that the only reason why Snoop would have had to use the radio is if he was at the fight with the rest of Death Row. And Snoop using the radio while he wasn't in Vegas is one of the reasons why Suge Knight suspects Snoop Dogg. Only way you would have a radio if you was at the fight with us and you had a security detail. I'm not having security detail. What are you doing with the radio? Suge also stated that he suspects Snoop was involved in the ploy to kill Pac because Snoop Dogg listened to the shooting play by play on his radio. Then all of a sudden, Warren says on the stage where they listened to the radio and they hear the gunshots. And basically, somebody told them, we got him or they got shot or all this shit. So how would you know that? Why would you have a play-by-play -play on the radio? During Warren G's interview on the Drink Champs podcast, he stated that after Snoop heard about the shooting, he went to visit Pac at the hospital. Damn. So Snoop, we I kicked everybody out. Get the fuck out of here, everybody. Get out of here, man. And he took off. That's when he went to Vegas mm -hmm. to go see him, to get out there to see what was going on. And that's when he went out there and when he went to the hospital. But I had... However, according to Suge Knight, what you just heard from Warren G isn't true. Suge claimed that Snoop never came to visit Pac at the hospital at all. He said Snoop kicked him out and he came to the hospital. Snoop never came to the hospital, period. Apart from using a radio to follow the shooting and not visiting Pac at the hospital, Suge stated that another reason he suspects Snoop knew they were going to be shot is because Snoop told Daz Dillinger not to go to Vegas. Then, Dash was on some other shit, 
I really hate bringing up dads because I take mental health serious and I know you got mental problems, but dads was on a situation saying that <clears throat> Snoop told him they can't go to the fight, can't go to the club, can't go to Vegas, it's gonna fuck shit up because something will happen basically. Shug stated that it wasn't only Daz who was told not to go to Vegas. Badass, who was signed to Snoop's label, was also told not to go to the fight because something was going to happen in Vegas. I don't know Pac put him on the song. Pac said, man, I'm going to let you, you, I'm, you can go to the fight with me. So Pac was like, um, I, you can go to the fight with me. I can fight. We're going to the club. He said that Daz told him. Well, you can't go, something's gonna happen, basically Pac or me, whoever. If you go, it's gonna fuck shit up. Shook stated that since Snoop didn't warn them about going to Vegas, then he was part of the plan to kill Tupac. Now, if all these people knew what was going on in the situation, nobody never commented to kill anybody that. So you're part of it. You're part of that snake, you know what happened to the snake, 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 snake. Shug also stated that after the death of Tupac, Snoop also featured on the album of one of the men who murdered Tupac. So the other situation is that even after this shit, a motherfucker was with Keefe D, according to Keefe D and everybody else, and everybody noticed, street noticed, I was locked up. But Snoop, Daz, and the rest of them, they did a song with one of the niggas from that, from that side who was in the car. He was one of the rappers featured on Big Dre's album, Hard White. Big Dre was a member of the Southside Crips. He is one of the four men in the car that was used to kill Tupac. In fact, a number of people believe that it was Big Dre and not Orlando Anderson that shot Tupac. Who did he do the song with? What you mean who was? Who did the compilation? The person who did the compilation was that nigga Dre, or whatever his name is. Well, you know, he ain't here, but that's that. Suge Knight stated that Snoop Dogg doing a song with one of Tupac's killers is another form of betrayal. However, I must state that if you trust Suge Knight's words, you do that at your own peril. This doesn't mean what Suge said isn't true, it just means you should take his words with caution. Suge has a huge beef with Snoop because Snoop Dogg took Death Row records from him. Therefore, it is possible that he has a vendetta against Snoop. So, what do you think? Do you believe Snoop was involved in Pac's murder? Or do you think Suge Knight is just blowing smoke? Tell me what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. Peace.